I think sales have stabilized on that certain level and with the items that we've got in the shop this is our new sales cap so let's see what uh, what have sold last week on my account on eBay UK Hello again and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Polish Pete, eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. I'm also an unpaid carer for an elderly and disabled person who lives abroad. I've got another sales roundup video for you today, but before we start, if you're interested in this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. That's the best way to support me and this channel and it's free. Uh, so guys, I've cocked up my sales really uh, last week, I mean the week before last week, uh, on Sunday and Monday to be precise, and it took me almost full week last week to pick them up to the level that they should be. Uh, I think I'll make a separate video about what has happened and I'll put it live for the weekend, so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. So at the end of the day, we did decently well. Uh, I think sales have stabilized and we've reached that new sales cap, which is about 650, 700 pounds a week. And yeah, I think without improving inventory or adding more of it, uh, we won't be able to move forward. Uh, last nine out of 10 weeks, we were taking more than corresponding weeks last year, so we are doing good. This is what we want to see. Uh, I had one immediate cancellation last week, but she immediately bought something else, so no harm done. Uh, and I've got 27 sales for you today. The cutoff point was 7.99 plus postage. So anything cheaper than that didn't make it to the video. It's going good on Vinted, but I started adding a crappy inventory there you know those small sizes kind of giving it a chance to get sold so yeah let's jump to my laptop and see what exactly has sold last week so last week meaning from tuesday uh, the 5th to monday the 11th of november we have sold 57 items for a total of 653 pounds and 44 pence we had 18 orders in the bracket 5 to 10 pounds, including postage, 31 orders 10 to 15 pounds, 3 orders 15 to 20 pounds, 4 orders over 20 pounds. One multi-item order with two items in it, 7 items uh, sold to returning customers, 5 items sold via promoted listings, which costed us 133 plus VAT and ROAS at 37. So a little bit less, a little bit lower. In terms of average weekly goals, in terms of weekly goals, we didn't hit any. Average sale 11.46 per item, 11.67 per order. My wife has photographed 20 items and she emailed me uh, those photos. Well, uh, she used Google Disk. So I have listed them. So that's good, but obviously 20 is not that much, uh, considering that we have sold 57. Well, 57 instead of 100, which is a goal, and 653 pounds taken instead of 1,000. Uh, eBay has transferred us uh, 628 pounds and 62 pence. Uh, we've sold 57 items, so setting aside two pounds 50 per item to cover cost of, cost of goods, that's uh, 142 and 57, sorry, to cover postage and 57 to cover cost of goods uh, at one pound each. That gives us a profit of 429 pounds for last week, which is decent. Uh, 76 days since last zero sales day, which is decent again. First item that has sold last week was this mountain warehouse a-line dress size 16 
uh, this lady has bought a dress from me uh, about a week before this order. Obviously, she must have been uh, pleased because she came back for more. Uh, so this one has sold for $14.99. I had it for three months and it has gone together with this one. So, so she bought two of them all together and this new look, uh, short A-line dress, this has sold for $12.50. And again, I had it for three months. So they both gone to the same buyer with one set of postage and positive feedbacks have been received. This Evans denim jeans, size 28, have sold for $8.50 plus postage as an offer to a watcher. This MS Peruna two piece loop top size 14 has sold for eight pounds. So I believe I'd send an offer of 850. She came back with eight, which I have accepted. It's a summer item, so I'm not, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm okay with selling it a bit cheaper in the, in the winter. This MS Lamb's wool jumper, uh, size 2022, this has sold for. $14.99 with 10% coupon, plus postage, obviously. Everything is plus postage. Uh, this vintage button shirt, uh, size 22, has sold for $7.99 with coupon. And positive feedback has been received. This Beaumont... Beaumont, I think that's how we pronounce it. Beaumont pullover jumper, size 14 to 16. This is sold for $7.99 with 10% coupon. And positive feedback has been received. This touch of, touch of silk workwear jacket, size 18 to 20. 100% uh, silk. This has sold for, seven, uh, for 10 pounds. Uh, that's what customer, that, that's the offer that customer has made. Uh, I would rather sell it for $10.99, but I'm not going to chase that one pound. I had the chance to sell it, so I have sold it. This MS Peruna A line midi dress size 14. This has sold for $16.99 as an offer to a watcher. This Debenhams A-Line Midi Skirt size 14 has sold for $8.99 with 10% coupon. A positive feedback has been received and it was a returning buyer as well. This Dorothy Perkins A-Line Midi Skirt size 18. This has sold for £8.50 as an offer to a watcher. I had it for six months, so happy to see the back of it. This unbranded ladies A-line skirt size 12 to 14. It was XL, but it was very small and it had a problem with uh, some fraying. There you go. Uh, this is sold for $7.99 with coupon applied and has gone to returning buyer as well. This Dorothy Perkins open front full leather jacket size 14. I couldn't get rid of it for a while but it has sold for $19.99 with 10% coupon. This very casual midi dress, size 18, has sold for $17.99 with 10% coupon. I had it for six months, so I'm very happy to see the back of it. This George jumper dress, size 2022, let me have a look. Uh, I have listed at 9 a.m. and it sold at 11 a.m. So yeah, super quick sale. <coughs> We've sold it for $12.99 with 10% coupon and it has gone to returning buyer. This Paddy Campbell cropped blouse size 14. This has sold for $9.99 with 10% coupon. These MS Slim Fit soft trousers size 22 have, have sold for £8.50 as an offer to a watcher. 
This low drop lays open front top size 16 has sold for 7.99 with 10 percent coupon. This BM tunic t-shirt size 24 with a nice floral design. Well, it's kind of floral. Uh, this is sold for 8.99 with 10 percent coupon. This Debenhams workwear trousers size 22 have sold for 7.99 with 10 percent coupon. This papaya top size 18 has sold for again 7.99 with coupon. These next denim jeans size 18 have sold for 11.99 with coupon. This BM winter t-shirt size 18 to 20 with quite nice floral design has sold for 8.99 with coupon. This country rose cardigan jumper size 20, 22. A little bit of argy bargy with the customer. She really wanted cheap. Uh, but I said, I'm not going to take less than £8.50. Forget about it. So she agreed. £8.50 plus postage. This river, these River Island jeans size 16, these have sold for 9 99 with coupon. This Boho or Boohoo short summer dress size 22 has sold for 9 99 with coupon. And this AX Paris A line midi dress size 18. Both of them, that Boohoo and this one, you can find in every one pound charity shop in the country. Uh, this has sold originally $14.99, then markdown sale to 15% to $12.74, and she applied coupon, so double whammy. However, I don't mind, because uh, this coupon brings me a lot of business, so I don't mind once in a while to sell something with double whammy. So yeah, 1274 and then one pound twenty-seven off uh, uh, on coupon. Yeah, I wonder when those sales will stop due to the Christmas coming. Uh, I'm kind of prepared for it to happen any day, but it hasn't happened yet, so it's good. Because uh, the corresponding week last year we took like let me have a look uh, have i noted down i think yeah 230 uh, 232 pounds we took last uh, last year in the same week so last year it was already that that uh, that christmas coming crash with sales on used clothing so yeah so far so good this year Recent has kind of lost its velocity, but I've applied some correcting measures and it's still going good, I must admit. Hopefully I will be if I will be able to shift significant amount of items before the end of zero fees period. And hopefully we won't be hit with, you know, in the guts with something stupid. Yeah. After that, you know, like by eBay introducing some new ridiculous fee structure that will cock up everyone. Yeah, hopefully that's not going to happen. Yeah, with that being said, guys, let me wrap it up here. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you next time. Have a great week. God bless you all. God bless people of Ukraine. Bye bye.